PKCE, Proof Key for Code Exchange, is an extension to the OAuth 2.0 authorization code flow that provides additional security. The standard OAuth 2.0 authorization code flow is vulnerable to authorization code interception attacks. PKCE solves this problem by adding an extra layer of security to the flow. Today we are going to implement PKCE. To configure PKCE, we need to modify the Spring Authorization Server code and the code of the Spring OAuth 2 client. We start with the Server Config class of the Spring Authorization Server. First, we create a Bean Client Settings and set the required proof key to true. Then we add the client setting in the Registered Client Repository. Then we need to modify the code of the Spring OAuth 2 client. This is also done in the security config class of the Spring OAuth 2 client. We need to configure a request resolver and register it in the OAuth 2 login. We have everything we need and can restart the projects to see if everything works. After starting the Spring Authorization Server, the Spring Resource Server, and the Spring OAuth 2 client, we can test everything in a browser window. We start in the browser with localhost 8080. We are then automatically redirected to the login form of the authorization server to log in. After logging in with the user and password, we see the welcome message with the date and time. Everything works as expected. To check if the PKCE configuration was successful, we can look in the network activity of the browser for requests to the authorized endpoint of the server. Every time we see two headers, code challenge, and code challenge method. The configuration was successful. Thank you for following along and see you in the next video.